Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Welcome to our QuickBooks Online tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to write and print a check from QuickBooks Online. Uh, to find all of our QuickBooks Online tutorials, Google Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online tutorials. So before we get started today, I'd like to highlight there are three very related lessons um, for printing and writing checks. So today we're going to talk about how to print and write checks directly. This means that you haven't entered a bill yet from this vendor. So you receive a bill or you know you owe money, you simply write the check in a single step. That's what we're going to talk about today. The other way to manage bills is to first enter the bill when you receive it, including entering a due date that it's due, and then later as the due date approaches, you'll write a check to pay the bill. So in that scenario, you're, there's two steps. You're entering the bill and then you're paying the bill later. And so you can visit our tutorials on those two steps again by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. But today, let's talk about how we do it when we just use one step. So we're not entering the bill, we're simply writing a check immediately um, when we receive the bill or we just know that we owe the money. Okay, so how do we write a check in QuickBooks? First, let's start our dashboard. If you don't already have a subscription to QuickBooks Online, there's a link below this video you can click and you can get 30 days free or 50% off for three months. So let's write a check by going to New and then Vendors and Check. This pulls up a screen where we can uh, say who we're writing the check to and what we're writing the check for. So let's choose a vendor here. Uh, let's, I don't know, let's do Business Supply Center. Okay, uh, we'll just enter today's date. We've already got Business Supply Center set up as a vendor, so all of the address information comes through immediately. Um, the check number, the easiest way to do it, if you have multiple checks that you're going to print, is to go ahead and leave this Print Later button checked, and then once you've input all of your checks, then you can print them all at one time, and I'll show you how to do that. Otherwise, if you're only printing one check, you can uncheck this box. It's going to enter what it believes is the next check number. Obviously, you want to verify that before you put the checks into your printer and print them. So you can print them one at a time, uncheck the box, enter the check number here, and then come down here, click print check. Oh, it's telling me that I don't have any information entered because I haven't done that yet. But that's how you go about printing it if you want to do it one at a time, but I suggest the print later. Also, if you're going to hand write the check, I would uncheck the print later, put the check number of the handwritten check, go ahead and fill everything else out like we're doing today, but rather than print them, uh, you've simply handwritten the check, and this screen will record the check in your books. No need to print it. Okay, so there are two ways to enter checks. You can enter the check amounts in categories or in items. So categories is QuickBooks name for expense accounts. So you can either charge the check directly to expense accounts or you can charge them to items that have been set up and then the item uh, setup will tell QuickBooks which expense or which asset to place the, uh, the check into. So categories are usually things like utility. So let's go ahead or maybe business supply since this is business supply center. So let's go ahead and enter a category. Do we have something like perhaps office supplies? There we go. Okay. So we're going to record an expense for office supplies for say $500. Now let's say that this is the type of expense that we're going to pass through to our customers. So office supplies may not be the best example, but let's say these office supplies are for one particular customer and so we're going to pass the cost of the office supplies onto them. So I'm going to say it's billable, meaning we're going to bill a customer for it, and I'm going to mark it up, 100% seems a bit extreme, let's go ahead and mark it up 50%. And we, the customer that we're going to charge for these business supplies, uh, let's just say it's Aaron. Okay, and let's give this a class of accessories. Okay, so this says we're going to write an expense. We're going to print it later for $500. We're going to mark that up by 50%, so that should be $750, and we're going to bill it to Aaron. Okay, so we can click Save and that check is done. But we have to remember to go back and print it at some point. 
Okay. Now, just to show what we did when we entered that expense to be billed to Aaron, let's issue Aaron an invoice now. So we can go to Sales, Invoices, Create an Invoice. We're going to create an invoice to Aaron. And look here, there's our $750 billable expense. So next time we issue an invoice to Aaron, it is going to automatically show up um, so that we don't forget it. So we can click add, boom, there we go. There's our office supplies of $500 and there's our markup for $250. Customer does not see this split out. Um, they'll just be billed for $750. Very cool, save and close. Okay, let's write another check. So we're going to go to new, check, and this time let's purchase inventory. So who will we purchase inventory from? Let's purchase inventory from our uh, foster lighting. Uh, it looks like we have some purchase orders. Uh, let's not deal with that right now. Hall lighting and accessories. They have some purchase orders as well. That's okay. Let's just ignore that we have these purchase orders. Okay, so we're writing a check to haul lighting and accessories. Um, instead of categories, we're going to enter these as items. So if you're, whenever you're purchasing inventory, anything that you're keeping track of the quantity of, you need to use the item detail so that you can enter the quantity information. This allows QuickBooks to keep track of the amount of quantity you have on hand and the cost of what you have on hand versus the cost of what you've sold. So it's extremely important for proper inventory accounting that you always use the item detail whenever you purchase inventory as well as when you sell inventory. So let's give it some detail here. So haul lighting, we are going to purchase um, some ceiling fixtures. Let's do brass pendants with ribbed glass. Okay, brings over the description. This comes from our item description that we've already set up for these ceiling fixtures. Uh, the default is just one. If you click on the quantity, this is really cool. QuickBooks will pull up right here uh, the quantity information it has. So right now we only have 79 of these in inventory. We've set a reorder point of 100 and so we need at least 21 just to get up to our reorder point so let's we better order a bunch of these so let's order about 50 of these it's very handy that QuickBooks gives you that immediate information on how much you have on hand so we're going to order 50 of this at $32 each that's $1600 now this is going to go into our inventory so we're not going to bill it to a client immediately now if this was something that was going to go immediately into a client's job then we could bill it to the client this is not this is going to be sitting in our inventory we're going to charge to clients as we take it out of inventory and sell it okay so there is no customer or project Better give it a class, ceiling fixture, we'll put that to ceiling mounts. Okay, for $1,600, we're going to print it later and save and close. Excellent. Now those that quantity should show up in your inventory. Okay, well now we've created two checks. How do we print them? Let's go to new. And under vendors, we can go to print checks. And now both of those checks we've just created show up. Okay, so we can do preview and print. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's close. There's one important thing I need to show you. Um, did your prints check? Uh, no, they did not print correctly. Okay, so our starting check number is right here. You need to make sure your starting check number is correct. Okay, so before you stick the checks in there, make sure the starting check number is correct. Choose the ones you want to print preview and print and here we go we're going to print these out onto our check stock okay after you print it it's going to ask you if your checks printed correctly say if they did check them over make sure they printed correctly if they did say yes when you say yes it'll take the checks out of the to be printed list so they don't show up next time um, if some checks printed, others didn't, you can click the box here and say uh, which checks you want to reprint starting at which check number. 
that will leave those checks in the to be printed queue so perhaps the printer jammed or ran out of toner at a particular place so you can specify starting at which check number do you want to reprint them so that those checks are not removed from the check printing queue um, or you can say no none of them printed keep them which is what I did a second ago and that will leave them all in the print queue so we're gonna say yes they printed correctly and it removed those two checks from our print queue okay so that's how you print checks in QuickBooks Online remember this is only if you're if you're writing the check immediately upon receiving the bill if you've already entered the bill then you want to write the check as a bill payment and again we do have a separate tutorial on that um, it's how to pay your bill so you can find all these tutorials by googling fit small business QuickBooks online tutorials I hope you found this useful and I look forward to you viewing another QuickBooks tutorial in the future thank you very much